Hey, boss. Hey, Megan. How are you? Great. Even better with all this news. How are you? I am awesome. Um, I want to talk about this stacked part of UFC 249. I know that you um, broke a lot of news with Brett Okamoto from ESPN, but this card, when you actually look at it from top to bottom, it's like there are eight potential main events all throughout the card. Like any of these fights could headline other cards throughout the year. Yeah, what no, it's, it? it's a great card. I mean, you start with the main event, Tony Ferguson and Gaethje, co-main event, Cejudo versus Dominic Cruz, and Ganyu versus Rosenstreich, Jeremy Stevens versus Calvin Cater, um, Greg Hardy, DeCastro. The main event on ESPN, the prelims, is Cowboy Cerrone and Anthony Pettis. You have Olenek and Verdum, Carlos Barza versus the Karate Hottie, Michelle Waterson, Uriah Hall and Jacare Souza, Luke versus Price, Bryce Mitchell versus Charles Rosa, and the card starts with Ryan Spann versus Sam Alvey. The prelims are three and a half hours long on ESPN and ESPN Plus. How did this come together? Because just looking at this, this is such a stacked card. You would think in the times that are going on in the world, oh, maybe, you know, you're going to have to piece things together, but that certainly doesn't seem like the case. You, you thought that what? That maybe, you know, you'd have to piece things together because things are so uncertain in the world, but this is a bananas card. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's an incredible card. Were people reaching out to you to to be able to compete on this one? Oh yeah, we're doing we're going back to back. We're doing Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. So um, we're gonna do four fights from May 9th to May 23rd. All in Florida. I'm not saying. <laughs> All right, I'll wait for you to send us a company wide email. <laughs> <laughs> But for UFC 249, there's there's two titles on the line, and they are both so intriguing. I want to start with the co-main event, the return of Dominic Cruz versus Henry Cejudo, who was a double champ. Um, what do you like about this matchup and Dominic's return to the octagon? Yeah, no, I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, I'm except first of all, I'm excited to be back, um, and it's always fun when you can put on cards like this. This thing will be stacked from top to bottom. You know, as a promoter, there's very few times, like a handful of times where I went out and said, I guarantee you, if you put down your money, this card is gonna be awesome. This is one of those times, just the main <laughs> event. Ferguson versus Gaethje is impossible to not be an incredible fight. Ferguson hasn't lost in eight years. Gaethje has fought six times in the UFC and has seven UFC post-fight bonuses. It's just, the fight is ridiculous. Oh, it's gonna be insane. Um, you know, we saw Tony Ferguson um, preparing for this bout when it was originally supposed to take place. He weighed in um, at home. Are we gonna be able to see weigh-ins like we normally do for UFC 249? The weigh-ins will happen, yeah. Interesting, okay. The show's gonna run just like it always does, just with no fans and limited media. Okay, and will you be in attendance? I know there's two belts that are gonna have to go around waist. I will be there. Excellent. So you've got to be excited then. I mean, obviously there's been so many hurdles, Dana, to overcome. What for you was was the biggest thing you're most proud of? Oh God, I mean, this whole thing has been, one of the fun parts about this job is, is fixing things that happen. And, you know, there's always things that pop up. Everything's, you know, every week is a shit show. So <laughs> this was a shit show on steroids. Uh, it, was, it was crazy, but you know, every obstacle that, that popped up we, we figured out how to do it yes i just saw somebody say joe rogan yes joe rogan will be there too excellent so the full broadcast team in place we're all excited to go and get in on the action um in terms of florida how, how did that come about how did what how did florida come about well florida uh deemed sports a necessary business so um it's a no-brainer and they were they were supportive they've been cool through this we whole the process governor, we have the mayor and we have the athletic commission. There are many of, there, there were other choices, places we could have gone, oh. but th this is the one that worked out best for us. Absolutely. So we've got May 9th, May 13th, May 16th. And then you said there'll be a card on the 23rd? Yes. Okay. 
So lots of fight action. We know the UFC 249 card. Any indication as to when those fights may be announced for the next upcoming cards? Uh, soon. We're, we're focused on this card first. Then we'll start promoting those once Rightfully we get through so. this. Rightfully so. Okay, that's three and a half hours of the prelim action on ESPN, then the pay-per-view on ESPN Plus, as our fans are accustomed to. So that's UFC 249. So much going on, so many great fights. But I also, Dana, want to talk to you about this all-in challenge because what you're doing to, um, you know, help different organizations around the coronavirus um, in partnership with Halle Berry. This is going to be an insane experience. I'd love to hear more. Yeah, so it's it's basically, you know, we do these fun, cool kind of things. I love this stuff, you know, because the fans get to come hang out. They stand on stage, go to the fights and sit in my seats and do all the stuff. We always do the stuff. This one is like to the next level. I'm actually going to let whoever wins this thing come in and make a fight with me. Sit in on a matchmaking meeting, make a fight. Um, stand on stage, go to dinner with Halle Berry. First of all, Halle Berry is one of the most beautiful women to ever walk the face of the earth. She's cool as hell, and she is actually a fight fan. She understands, you know, everything about the sport, loves the sport, so you can literally sit there and, and, and talk fights with her. Then you go and sit with her at the fights, and every time we do one of these things, you know, it's always rich guy versus rich guy bidding on this thing. On this one, anybody can enter to win for $10, $24, whatever you pay, you get more entries to try to win. So anybody can win this one and it's the best one that we've ever done. And uh, I'm excited about it. Yeah, you should be. That's really cool. I saw Tom Brady say that he wanted to be in on that yeah. one. Um, and before Brady's go, is almost at a million dollars. Really? Yeah, you get to go to his game, you get his jersey, his cleats, his first jersey that he wears game-worn cleats and jersey, and then you go to dinner with them. It's at like $800,000. That's amazing. Um, Dana, are we going to Florida because Tom Brady's now in Tampa Bay? Does uh, that have uh, anything to maybe, do with anything? Maybe that might be part of it. <laughs> all right, I figured, I figured. Well, um, I know that we are all excited to get to Florida for UFC 249. I know you're excited to be there as well. Um, why should fans tune into this entire card? because you don't have anything else to do. You're sitting at home, you got nowhere to go, you got nothing to do. So I don't want to hear any bullshit about this card isn't stacked enough, this one isn't bad, this one isn't that. There's no excuse. And, and you know what, the other thing too is, I understand that times are tough right now for people and everybody doesn't have the money, but you're gonna get three and a half hours of prelims, incredible fucking fights yeah. from top to bottom. And if you don't have the money for the pay-per-view, then. You already got three and a half hours of great fights anyway. And the people who do can buy the pay-per-view. Really awesome. Well, we are so looking forward to this, boss. Thank you so much for making this happen. We can't wait for it. We will uh, see you in Florida. Awesome. Thanks, Megan. Take Thanks. care. See ya. Bye. Bye, guys. a little beach. bit of what Fight Island is going to look like? We really are putting an octagon on the beach. There's going to be training facilities there for people. Um, there are hotels. And the whole really? island is going to be built. Uh, and, and all the infrastructure is going to be built for UFC to come do fights there. The Ferguson Gaethje fight is one of the, the most violent fights you, you, you will ever see. I, I can guarantee that, that that fight is going to be incredible. The, both of these guys, their style, the, you know, the way they fight, their mindset. This fight's unbelievably violent and going to be an incredible fight with two of the best in the world. And the winner will fight Habib for the title. So the winner is obviously guaranteed the next fight at, at Habib. 100%. Do you think that you'll stick to sort of your uh, your pay-per-view schedule as, as, the, as the months unfold? Like, are you still trying to kind yeah. of center? Yeah. We're going to catch up. We're going to catch up to the schedule. And... Uh, and, and then we'll be running off and running. Keep the dates the same, hopefully. Okay. So we know we got May 9th, May 13th, May 16th, all on ESPN. Fights to be determined on those second cards. I mean, I guess- well, those, are, those are going, we're going May, those three dates. And then we're looking at May 23rd too. May 23rd too. At, at, in Florida or that could potentially move? I haven't announced that yet. <laughs>